Hi, welcome to More Noble. I'm Patty. So thanks for tuning in. And my channel is all about helping Christians learn about the spiritual deception that has crept into the church. And I guess today I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of an update. Um, outside of Sunday mornings, I am with other believers, um, different denominations all the time. I, I work with them. And um, so I get concerned because I see all these Christians and some of the things that they recommend or they're like, oh, let me show you this teacher, you know, that I'm listening to a certain method of prayer that has been recommended to them or a personality test and they just accept it for what it is. You know, it really concerns me. So that's why I guess I'm here today just trying to warn you all that, you know, Jesus did say that there would be a lot of deception out there in the last days. Check out Matthew 24 and read the warnings that Jesus told us about, about deception. So we don't want to get deceived. Now, I think a lot of people are getting deceived. I think they're getting deceived because their friends are recommending these Bible teachers or these books, you know, or a trusted pastor or um, maybe just because it's published by a Christian publisher or in a Christian bookstore that, you know, Christians are saying, this is okay, this is safe, this is biblical, when really it's not. So you need to be doing your research. If I recommend something to you or your pastor, or if it's in a bookstore or anything, really do some research before getting into this stuff. For example, like the Enneagram personality test, or really any of those personality tests out there, they are rooted in occult practices. But again, before you start getting into that and promoting it and referring other people to it, go and do your research. And I did a video on the Enneagram, but there's more than just my material that's out there. You can go directly to the sites and to the founders and you can see. It. And so if you care about these things, and you should, please research before just, you know, taking taking a recommendations from other Christians. Paul encouraged Timothy, you know, to stay true to the faith. A lot of these uh, things that are out there in the Christian world that are being accepted are not that. They're pulling you away from it. 2 Timothy chapter 1, 13 and 14. Hold on to the pattern of wholesome teaching you learned from me, a pattern shaped by the faith and love that you have in Christ Jesus. Through the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us, carefully guard the precious truth that has been entrusted to you. In 1 Timothy chapter 4, 1 and 2, now the Holy Spirit clearly tells us in the last times, some will turn away from the true faith. They will follow deceptive spirits and teachings that come from demons. And that's exactly what I'm seeing. So a lot of these... Um, things that I'm hearing, like I said, I work with a lot of different denominations and personality tests. Again, they just accept that. Um, different kinds of Bible teachers, you know. One that was recommended recently, and I know a lot of people have had respect for, John Piper. And, you know, he, he quotes um, different people that are involved in like contemplative prayer or contemplative practices and um, he himself is participating in those things. And if you do some research, you will find out that. And it's leading people away from the Lord and to these Eastern uh, mystics and their practices. Practicing the presence of God, that one keeps coming up. And spiritual disciplines. All these disciplines, they're all about doing, you know. You're going to get closer to God by doing these things. And when you compare them, take a closer look at them and compare them to like the same kind of practices that are in Hinduism or in Buddhism and other Eastern religions and in the New Age and in the occult, even in witchcraft, they're all similar. All one needs to do is just start doing the research and you will see they all are just masqueraded differently different Christian idioms, different terms, but they all are a method. And they're not a method that you will find or methods that you will find in scripture. If anything, the Lord has warned us not to participate in these things. And really anyone who knows scripture can see a lot of these things just for what they are. I mean, it's, it's a no brainer, but you know, my concern is that a lot of Christians aren't putting the word of God as like the final authority 
instead of trusting in the Lord and in his word, they're going through other things, feelings, experiences, emotions over the word of God, over truth. And they're not even investigating. They're just like, oh, okay, I'll accept this. I'll accept this practicing the presence of God and these spiritual disciplines or these personality tests to hire someone or to try to figure out your gifts. And there's nowhere in scripture that tells us to take a personality test. It just brings the focus inward on me. When the truth is, we're sinners who without Christ, we're lost. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can say. There's nothing we can practice, any rituals. Because without what Jesus Christ did on the cross and, our, and us putting our trust in his sacrifice for our sins, we're all dying and going to hell. And that's the truth. But that's hard to take, isn't it? But that's what the Bible says. And instead, we're going to these personality tests and everything to try to figure out how great we are and what are these great things about us. The Bible says that all we need is God's word. He has given us everything we need in his word. But instead, we're not taking him at his word anymore. We're doing what Eve did in the garden. Believing Satan, did God really say, go with what God said over what I say and over what these other people are saying. You want to stick to the Lord and in his word. And don't forget to take scripture in context because a lot of these people will justify their practices and their methods or their teachings by taking the scripture out of context. I've even sat and listened to like a Swami talking about meditation and he even used scripture and he's using it at a context. In one case, let's say if one of these people did use something in context, we got to look at the whole scripture, like the whole word of God, because there's also warnings. Scripture will tell us what's good for us, what isn't good for us, what we're to participate in and not participate in, what is sin and what isn't sin. So we don't want to be substituting something else over God's word. You know, these things out there, we think, oh, but they'll benefit us. It doesn't matter what you think. We can't go by what we think. We have to go by what God's word says. Our feelings, our experiences, our emotions are changing all the time. We can't rely on them. So if you don't know Christ as your savior, I pray that you would put your trust in what Jesus Christ did on the cross because Jesus is the only way. You know, we can't do anything. We can't do practicing the presence of God more or different spiritual disciplines or even taking these personality tests to make ourselves feel better. The truth is we're just sinners. And, but thankfully God has made a way for us and that's through Jesus Christ. So if you want your sins forgiven, put your trust in what Jesus Christ did on the cross to take away the sins of the world. But the choice is yours, you need to take it. So Christians, please do your research before getting sucked into a lot of these things because I'm telling you, deception is everywhere. And it's so hard for me because I'll go to people and it's like they don't even wanna take what I'm saying into consideration. But isn't it easier just to write somebody off than to actually go and do some research? Someone that actually cares, like I really care. So I'm coming and warning. So I hope you will uh, heed the warning. Always go to the word of God and compare it against everything because we can't trust ourselves, but we can trust in the Lord. And that's what we're supposed to be doing as followers of Jesus. So I hope this video helped you and I'll see you next time.